Hello and welcome everyone, I am Maddles. Welcome to game one of a best of three. It's from the Zotac Cup. It is between the blue Terran player in the top right, Goody, who is up against NRS's Wellmu, the red Protoss player in the lower left. And this is the semi-final. It's a best of three, as I've mentioned. And so far, these two have had some good games. They both completely whitewashed their opponents in the quarterfinal, if you're wondering how they got there. So because of that, they are currently both unbeaten, which means that it could be pretty fun seeing how they continue on through. Now, being Cloud Kingdom, we can predict certain things because it's a PVT. So, for a start, drop play is quite probable through here. There's a lot of room for us there. And obviously, due to this large area here, that blink obs is also a good possibility of something we could be seeing. So, we'll wait and see what these two decide to do for the time being. But Obviously, they're things to look out for, in my opinion, that can be very good. And also, the dropping into the natural can be great because of this cliff area. You can quickly get in and out without getting picked off by anything. So, that is beside, of course, the normal PVT action, which is, of course, the point where gateway units are great until Stim hits and then Marine Marauder wrecks, stim, um, wrecks gateway units. Then you get sort of out the Colossi and the High Templar with Storm in order to deal with large infantry forces. The possibility, of course, as well for Goody to go for one base plays such as uh, 111, um, Banshee Harassment, they're all viable things that can we, we can see. And to be honest, a Banshee play is okay as well, just due to the fact that there's this dead space around here. So you can come straight in and start picking things off. And if you get Cloak as well, it can be a bit awkward. But I don't think we'll be seeing that just because we haven't got a gas thrown down quite yet. We have Wellmu on his way across with a probe, just getting a little bit of scouting information. But his gateway up, got a pylon down here, and this is. An interesting place to put a pylon, just very far out in the very corner. It's almost like he wants to hide something, so we'll wait and see to see, well, what happens. Meanwhile, though, up in Goody's base, he's getting down the single racks. We'll probably see a command center afterwards, I would imagine, that a one racks command center opening is very likely from Goody on this map. It's really quite safe to do so, and there's no reason you wouldn't, especially when you don't have the gas yet. So that is all fairly probable. Meanwhile, there's the Cybercore on its way, the one gas as to be expected from Wellmu. I'm waiting to see whether he chucks down the second gas or not because that's when you can really start narrowing down Wellmu's play. If he was going to be going for say blink obs, he'd need that second gas very quickly but Goody, he's doing things right by the book. One Rax expansion. We should see following this up two more barracks and then the gas is the normal thing we'll be seeing from a Terran player in this situation, especially if he feels threatened. So this scout, good timing, sees the gas, only one gas there, sees a Chrono Boost coming off as well, and clearly there's some lag issues there or something with players leaving. So as we've got Stalker Chrono Boosting out, that means the Zealot Stalker Harass member, the bunker is going to be down in plenty of time, so I wouldn't worry. The double gas actually coming down before the barracks here for Goody, so it's going to be slightly more tech heavy as opposed to marine heavy. He's feeling quite confident with what he's scouted out so far. We've also got the Nexus just getting thrown down there from Wellmu, and that was really the only two options you get. If you don't see the second gas, the only threat you've got is a pilot, a four gate pressure, or the Nexus first. And since you've scouted out your opponent going for that command center, you're fairly sure it's going to be a quick nexus. So, all in all, this is fairly comfortable. Both players happy. We've got these SCVs waiting just in case they need some help. But with four Marines in there now, this pressure from one Stalker and one Zealot will not be able to push forward at all. So, everything really safe and steady for both these players. They Neither of them have anything to worry about. We do have the second gas now on its way there, as well as the robotics facility. So, one gate expansion into the robo. It's very economical, it's tech heavy, but when you've seen your opponent go for an opening like this, you know they're not going to be doing too much. You get your observer out sooner as well, which means that you get a much better idea and a much clearer picture of what they could be doing. So far though, the factory coming down, the reactor on the barracks, so we'll wait and see what's going to be coming from there. Also, of course, Goody just happily mewling away with the double orb of command. He should have a slight lead in work account shortly, so that is all good. Of course, Chrono Boost will help initially, but it's... Well, two STV production compared to one pro production for a while. And there we go, it's leveling out now. But when we start getting the workers in, uh, the uh, mules rather, the mules are going to really start tick tipping the income into Goody's favour uh, compared to Wellmu. And it will do for quite a while, but depending on where the chrono boosts go, that may change. So we've got two more gateways being added on now. This is probably the most standard play you could be getting out of Wellmu right now. One gate expand into a robo, followed up 
in going into three gates. So really safe. Goody going really economically focused actually, getting that third CC up very soon, as well as the engineering bay. He's got a tank coming out now as well with siege mode. So going quite defensive, and this is a good plan. Getting this defensive posture when you are getting this quick third command center. The engineering bay will get the plus one infantry weapons almost certainly. We'll probably see, since there's no double engineering bay yet, we'll probably see plus one attack. Then once that's finished, we'll see the armory go down and then the two one upgrades research at the same time. It's quite a nice compromise compared to going for the double upgrade straight away. However, Wellmo is going to take in a bleed in terms of the upgrades fairly soon because he does have his double forge coming on. And when you get the chrono boost hitting there, that's when you really end up having a lot more of a nice time. The missile turrets getting thrown down. We've got one... There's a second one somewhere. There we go. So just keeping an eye out for that observer, which will manage to sneak in. Also, make sure that you're safe against things like DTs, should that be coming. But I don't think really good he's going to be too worried about that. It's unlikely in the opening we've seen Wilmu go for at the moment. And with the observers coming over, a second observer there already. Obviously, Wilmu is going to get absolutely all the information he needs. He sees that there's that third orbit commander. He sees the tech. He sees the tanks. And I believe he's even going to scout the siege mode if he goes and looks over there. So when he sees that siege mode, that is really giving away everything he requires. He may get taken out by this missile turret, though, so that observer does need to be a little bit careful. And the scan goes off and actually picks it off. So Goody does not want any more scouting information to come forward. But Immortals now being forced because if you've got tanks there, you need some Immortals down, obviously, to deal with those effectively. We've got a couple more gateways being added. As well as the Chrono Boost still coming up on the 1-1 upgrades. The upgrades not actually started yet from Goody. Instead, going for the double armory. Now, that in itself is a very interesting play. That, of course, means that we're going to be seeing the double factory upgrades. And as a result, a nice little timing out of Wellmu in terms of going for a more mech-style play, which is very, very unusual against Protoss players. Usually, MMM is preferred and almost certain to be seen in 90% of the games. Wellmu expanding to his third base as well, which means that he's going to have a great economy. We can see already that they are very equal in work account, which does favour the Terran due to mules. But with Wellmu taking his third base, which he had to do knowing that his opponent already had this third orbit of command out, it's really gearing up to be a longer, much longer game. The 1 1. Vehicle weapons and armor upgrades coming out for Goody now. Meanwhile, 1-1 one, one ground armor and weapons for Protoss nearly finished up. The Robotics Bay and the Twilight Council coming down. So 2-2 going to be able to start nearly instantaneously for Wellmu there. He might also get charge out, I would imagine. So we see when that charge does hit, of course, if you're getting any number of Zealots, you need to start thinking about that. But there's the 2-2 two, two upgrade started straight away. I Infernal Pre-Igniter also coming down now for those Hellions. And between everything, these two players are not going to engage for a long, long period of time. They're securing their third bases. They're both wanting to turtle up. This tank line up on the high ground is going to be an absolute nightmare for Wellmu to push into. Because even if he brought an observer for the vision, the missile turrets are placed very nicely to pick that off. And as a result, you're just not going to get the vision of the high ground to be able to deal with those tanks there. So that is going to be a bit awkward. And as this observer is kindly pointing out, yes, there are indeed six factories. That is a very accurate statement to make. There are six of them, without doubt. There's also a starport and one barracks, which is powering add-ons. But again, we're just going to see probably quite a few Vikings coming out because there's no need for medevacs. And as a result, that means Colossi are going to be less effective. The Immortal Count up to three now. Extended Thermal Launch when I come down. The fifth gas just getting started there for Wellmu. There's the sixth gas. Sixth gas already up for Goody, though. So he had slightly better gas income and will do... For the near future, he's also got slightly better mineral income. If we look at the work account, Goody's actually become ahead in terms of the SCV production. And with mules as well, that is quite a big lead. 2-2 Two -two, though, that is still getting chrono boosted out by Wellmu. 2-2 Two -two only just getting started now for Goody. And obviously with chrono boost, the Protoss players will always get ahead in upgrades. And as a result, it leaves some nice windows, especially when 3-3 three -three finishes up. You get that quite significantly sooner than a Terran will. And obviously 3-3 three -three is when things start getting pretty scary. And all in all... Neither of these two players are looking to do anything engaging. We've got Siege Mode done and Infernal pre -Igniter. I doubt we'll see the 250mm strike cannons. That would be incredibly unusual. And although having said that, I actually cast the game yesterday for a community event where that was researched. So I think it's the first time I've ever cast the game where that has come out. Looking here though, Hellions on their way through. And while we do have a cannon, two cannons actually coming up, they're not complete yet. So these Hellions could get a couple of free probe kills, get a few there, get a couple more as well. With Blue Flame, they are going to be able to get a nice 
Whoa, actually getting 10 in total. My goodness. I don't think that was all 10 there. There must have been some down earlier because that was an awful lot of Hellion kills. And as a result, that's knocking well, we yet even further behind in terms of the work account, which is great news for Goody, who's got a very sizable force up now. He's taking a very large supply lead, as we can already see, and that's due to the fact mainly that Wellmu is teching so heavily. He's getting so much out. Plus three weapons on the way out. No plus three armor yet. We probably will see that shortly, though. He's probably just waiting for enough minerals to get that out. Archons in production, so. Come on, Wilmy. We need to see that plus two. There we go. Uh, plus three, rather, armor. And so that is now on its way. But look at this force from Goody. It's very scary. The Viking count is up at five. And there is only two Colossi out for Wilmy. If the tanks are in the light spot, this is going to be a massive problem. And for people who can't say you can't go mech against the Protoss player, well, Goody is very quickly showing us that, hey, he's going to try. The Hellions get very nicely force wielded, though, and taken out exceptionally quickly. But this is the problem. Look at these Vikings doing some very nice damage. Look at the tanks doing some very nice damage. But unfortunately, Wellmu is just absolutely plowing through this. The Vikings unable to take down that Colossus fast enough. It's only three engaging. The other two were not in this fight. The tanks still alive though. The Immortals finally going down. One still does have shields. The, the few Zealots actually cleaning up a lot of stuff here. And it looks like Wellmu has absolutely crushed this force. He has lost a lot himself, but he kept up those two Immortals. And Goody, maybe now realizing why people say don't go mech against Protoss, but he's still powering on with it. He's kind of committed to it now. He thought he could make it work, and if it kills him, he's going to try. He does still have these headings poking and prodding around. And the good news for Goody is that he is still probably ahead in income, just by a little bit. He's got his fourth command center nearly finished up as well. But as we can see here, Wellmu taking his own fourth base, so trying to stay more in line with that. Hellions have managed to make it into the main, but a good warp in there. From well, uh, from well, has allowed him to pick those off. Three, three, still getting Chrono boosted. We do have plus three, three started here for Goody, but there's going to be a very nice window of opportunity for Wellmu, where with Warpins he's taken the supply lead. He's going to have the upgrade advantage. Um, with the arc, with the Archons in there, with the single Colossus, he has got a very strong force. And if he just moves across the map and tries to go for an engagement early on, he may be able to end the game th right there. Still though, looking up here, we've got the Hellions just ready and waiting for any probes to come over to just try and snipe those off. We've got some more gateways getting chucked down all around the map. The Photon Cannons sitting there quite comfortably at the maiden natural, at the third and natural rather. The fourth base should get some Photon Cannons as well, just to make sure it's secure. Looking vision-wise, not too much information for Wilmu actually. His observers were shut down pretty hard. Meanwhile though, for... Goody, he's had, he obviously got the Hellions in, so he saw everything he needed to. He knows about the fourth base, so all the critical bits of information are very much aware to the Terran player, who is trying to do this expansion, and ooh, that's got to be careful, because with the Stalkers there, that's going to take some damage. It is triggering Wilmer to move forward, but he does have 3-3 done now. He's also got plus one shields on their way, and if he hits before the 3-3 vehicle weapons are done, the upgrade advantage is quite substantial. Looking here though, Hellions have managed to make it into the 4th base, they will get a couple more probe kills. We can see actually Goody doing a nice job of clearing up probes throughout this game. He is keeping his opponent about 10 workers below him at the time, and the cannon unfortunately will end all of this harassment, but it was a nice go, it got a couple of probes to the 4th base, it's always going to be good when you kill your opponent's workers regardless of how few they may be. Still though, looking up, no fourth base yet for goodies, floating this orbit, this command center back down is likely to become a planetary fortress. And I'm quite surprised he's taking that one as opposed to this base over here. Clearly just feels much more comfortable trying to expand there to get a good siege line. But here we go, big engagements coming in now from Wellmu, and he is just decimating this force, and there's GG from Goody. I was going to say, it's almost certain to go GG there, because Archons just deal so well against mech with the immortal support. So, Zealot, Archon, Immortal, crushing a mech force from Goody, and game one goes to Wellmu. So, remember, if you did enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like the video, leave a cool comment and subscribe, then flick over to my channel, and I'll see you at Game 2 any second.